I'm Ryan from ExtremeTrain.com and this is my review of the Crown Automotive Replacement Tie Rod Kit fitting all 2007 and up JKs. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this kit which is going to be a very simple one out of three wrenches. This will bolt directly in place of your factory tie rod so no major modification necessary. This is a very simple installation. We're also going to talk about the construction and a few of the features of this tie rod. Crown Automotive is known for making high quality but also inexpensive OE style replacement parts for your vehicle. And this is definitely going to save you some money over buying a Jeep branded replacement tie rod, but it's still going to function the same and be built largely the same way. From the factory, this tie rod end on your tie rod is pressed into place. So if that tie rod end does start to wear out, unfortunately you do have to replace the whole tie rod. You cannot just swap out the tie rod end. It's not removable like this end here is. So if you're somebody who just spends time on the road, their original tie rod lasted them a good long time, they're not worried about upgrading to something stronger and they wanna save some money, this is going to be a great OEM style replacement. But if you wore out your tie rod in short order because you run really large tires on your Jeep or because you're doing a lot of hardcore wheeling, I would recommend spending a little bit more money in going with an upgraded aftermarket tie rod that is going to have much beefier tie rod ends, have some different adjustability and hold up a lot better than a factory one would to the additional abuse of having large tires and wheeling. As far as construction goes, this tie rod is very similar to your factory one. It has bends in all the same places to give you all of your proper geometry and your proper clearances. It's going to be adjustable on this end so that you can set your toe. However, when you're installing this in your driveway, all you have to do is make sure that you get the end-to-end -end measurement of your new tie rod to be the same as the old one, and your toe will be set exactly the same. Other than that, this is going to be a direct bolt-in piece that is going to get the job done. So as far as installation, I am giving this a one out of three wrenches and all you're going to need to give yourself is about an hour to get this installed. The first step is of course removing your factory tie rod, which you'll do by removing the cotter pins and the castle nuts off of the tie rod ends. Now the tie rod ends are a taper fit into your steering knuckles. So in order to get those removed, you are going to want to strike the steering knuckle perpendicular to the threaded part of your tie rod end with a large hammer or a mallet. That is the best way to get these free. You can of course use a puller if you have one or if you want to rent one, but giving them a good smack on the flat spot of your steering knuckle should free these without a problem. You certainly don't want to drive down on top of the tie rod end. Even if you put a nut on top of it, you always risk damaging the threads or mushrooming the end of that tie rod end, making it much more difficult to get it out of the hole in the steering knuckle. Once you have the factory tie rod removed, as I said before, you should measure end to end, adjust your new tie rod to that same length. That'll give you the best chance of getting your toe set properly when you have your new tie rod installed. And then simply place the tie rod into the steering knuckles and replace all of the hardware. This is a very simple installation. All you'll need to get it installed are your traditional hand tools. You will of course need a large hammer or a mallet in order to get your factory tie rod removed. But other than that, this is going to be an easy install. I think that this tie rod is appropriately priced. You have to pay around $125 for it, but it is going to function just like the factory one. It looks like the factory one. It's going to hold up just like the factory one did the first time around. And it is going to be an easy install. Again, if you wore your tie rod out because you're doing some hardcore wheeling, because you bent it or you wore out the tie rod end, I would recommend spending more money going with an upgraded aftermarket style tie rod. However, if you're staying on the street, if your factory tie rod lasted you a good long time and you just want to replace it without having to pay full price from a dealership for that part, that's where this fits in really well. So if your factory tie rod wore out on your Jeep and you're just looking for a replacement without having to pay the price for a Jeep branded OEM part, this one from Crown Automotive is going to save you some money while still getting the job done. So that's my review of the Crown Automotive replacement tie rod kit fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.